All right, y'all. We backstage with Backwoods Dreamville 2024. We seen here with none other than Trader Truth. Rapper, what? activist, actor. Yeah. <laughs> what you don't so do? Many right? no activist, no. Y'all, hey, man, clap it up. Yeah. <laughs> What's up, man? What's going yeah, on, good. man? I'm cool, and man, I just popped in for a second to support, bro. You know. Nah, for sure. Check Today out. your first day out here. Huh? Today your first day out here, Dreamville. Uh, yeah, yeah. I said I wanted to make sure I came for one. I, I came out to see uh, Cole sit and just you know support him, man. From seeing where we all started from mm-hmm. to now, you know, it's just like as a as a brother, you always want to appreciate, salute, and you know, you be you be excited cheering for them like you cheer for yourself. So you know, for sure. that's why I'm here. And they go likewise. He just dropped the project. Mm-hmm. Uh, what what y'all doing to Beezle, bro? I, I gotta know. <laughs> <laughs> that looks a couple. So if you look at out here, it's, it's sprinkle uh-huh. uh, the family that was actually that know the real story. Like they. So what happened was when I um right after I got shot, man, he was like, man, bro, you just you in the hood too much. I just want to show you something different than what you know all the time wow. and um he flew me to Ibiza I was fresh out the hospital arm in a sling everything and we went of course you know I was drinking that like that uh-huh. but definitely we we had fun man the video on the way it's gonna show okay. you a lot yeah and, but and the it. crazy thing with the video is it's it's gonna show you a lot in real time mm-hmm. like it's not we reenacting nothing oh so y'all was like documenting doc- why y'all was, was out there Oh, we didn't know dope. it was fully documented until we found it, but yeah, it was documented. So you didn't even know he was going to make that song or nothing? Like, that was on some genuine shit, and he just Yeah, came. yeah, and then he, he had me come uh, talk, you know what I'm saying, to do the outro, which was leading into the intro of his album, you know uh-huh. what I'm saying? But yeah, but uh, I guess since we had Dreams, I might as well tell you, it's a, it's a second version to that song that's about to come. Oh man! Yeah, yeah. Like, how, like, how far away are we from it? Ah, uh, it's all gonna be up to bro. Yeah, it's there already. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So, but him even just dropping the project, like, I don't think. Mm-hmm. Well, we knew what was going, you know, taking place with, like, you know, the rap people coming back with verses and stuff like that. But yeah, I didn't but know he had a whole project. The project was the project was done already. The project know? was done. He mm-hmm. just threw that on there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh-huh. And you gotta you, you gotta salute him because the thing with him he. It's like spawn for him. That's what he oh, does yeah. do. You know what I'm saying? So, and you know both of them, my brothers, him and Kevin. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, for sure. I'm, I'm probably one of the only people that had both of them on the same song. Mm-hmm. You know, but uh, you know, it's good. You know that that people are excited about it. And it's healthy I, for hip hop. Yeah, I just hate when people try and act like it's real. Oh yeah. Beef that ain't that. Like they don't understand. Like man, that's this competitive. Yeah, yeah. It's just that's a, it's a competitive sport, but. Everybody got love for everybody, man. For sure. Like, I feel like in an all-star game, like you do want to see the best defender yeah, go I against mean, the best offensive player. Like who, at least who don't, don't want to leave with a championship ring. Right, exactly. Yeah, yeah, uh-huh. yeah. At least. But me and myself, man, I don't even use the energy to too much talk about it. At the end of the day, I want people to realize Cole dropped a, a, a dope project, you mm. know, Minus the the hype and what everybody was focused on at the moment, when you go and you focus on the project, the project is dope. Right, overall yeah. project. Yeah, definitely. yeah, and that's uh-huh. that's the thing that people need to lock in and understand. Definitely. Who else are you excited about seeing while you're out here? Uh, you know, man, just about everybody is family. I mean, you know, they. I, I'm pretty sure you would know. I probably got the the most relationships in the industry. Period. Nah, for so. sure. It ain't nobody I don't know, you know, yeah. so it's just for me. You don't fuck like with a, somebody. <laughs> man, you yeah, just to fuck. Say, it's a couple, that, but yeah. we ain't going to go there. But yeah, yeah. Nah. It's all about energy, though, huh? <laughs> no, for sure. I was going to say the first time I met you, I think I was with Los. And we was, I think it might have been the apartments um, premiere. Oh, yeah, he yeah, was there, yeah. too. Like, he yeah. always showed up. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know, T.I., my brother, Los, my brother. I mean, you know the thing, man, I... I think the reason why people really, really rock with me heavily is even for me to be, you know, most people, it's so crazy. People used to always call me a legend. Now people just call me an icon for just different things because I outgrew so much. But I think because I be so down to earth yeah, and don't, sure. as you see me now, I'm just moving around solo mm-hmm. by myself and just cool. And, and, um, and approachable too. Like, yeah, I think that's what, 
I think that's what people value. The crazy thing is it's a it's a double sword, right? Because I'm approachable, but then at the same time, they'd be scared to approach me. But you got to know me to know yeah, how I am, yeah, you know? Yeah. <laughs> you seem a little reserved, but it's like, okay, but you cool. You fuck with yeah. who you fuck with. You just, fuck with a man. It's how you approach you. Yeah. That's yeah. it. Yeah. You play you with me, I'm, I'm going to go there. If you don't, it's all love. You know, I'm all for pushing people just to enjoy themselves, man. Probably because any real gangsters that have been through real life situation, man, we ain't trying to wake up tripping every day. Uh-huh. I got kids I got to get back to and a, a bigger mission. The goal was to, to get it and get out and pull so many others with you, you know? Yeah, for so sure, like, for sure. Anybody, it, it, that's why it'd be a trip, right? When you see so many people doing crazy stuff on social media or s- so-called beefs, it's like, man, don't nobody want to wake up looking over their, sh- uh, uh, somebody who really been there, you don't want to wake up looking over your shoulder every day. Everywhere yeah. like, you move or like, like. And that don't make you more tough, less tough. It's just like, at the end of the day, like you can't even exhale or, or That's or not take what life breath. about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stand on business when it's time. But if it ain't necessary, sometimes, for me, I got this thing, like, it used to be back in the day, I'm gonna let you make it, but now it's like, nah, let me make it, man. I'm gonna go and get out your way. Not because I'm scared. I'm gonna get out your way because I know how far I'm gonna take it. Yeah, yeah. So and it's you like, might why not would be I do? Why would I, I don't even me. wanna take it there yeah, uh-huh. to bring you into what you finna run into. So it's like, growth, growth, like, man, you got it. But yeah. it's different sides to you. Like, uh, I don't think a lot of people know, like, because you, you just did a movie, like, it's a. a, a Comedy movie. Yeah, yeah. You come to two. comedy shows. Did you? So it's um, like my cartoon comedy movie just came out two days ago. On oh, for real? No, I ain't Trey, know. Yeah, um, features of course. You know my brother Jayton, Gray Boss, um, Snoop Dogg, Raheem Devon, Red Man, Davies, Guap Dad, oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Slink Johnson, Problem, Ti, everybody in it. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So I. Man, I'm a hustler. We gonna get out there and figure it out and try and see what we can do, you know? Who's some of your favorite comedians like that inspired you to really want to tap into that genre? I, I just love people in general. You know, like, these are my real brothers. Dave Chappelle is my real brother. Mm-hmm. Martin Lawrence is my real brother. Tony Rock, my real brother. Like, okay. it's so many to name, you know? But the thing is, it's just, even down to the music, a lot of my relationships don't be for what we do as a living. It be us as people, people. in general. So sometimes our relationship, it, I don't even really be thinking about what, as if they're a comedian or something like that. But yeah, I got strong relationships with everybody, man. I'm just supportive in general. It can be music. You can be a, a computer geek for all I care. If you solid. And I rock with y'all, I rock with you. Yeah, that's what's up. What made you always be like that? Like, a con- it sounds like you just a, a, a lover of kind of like people, like you said, personality. Uh, I don't know, I think just my heart is my heart, man. I th- it's always been that. Um, and I understand that it really is that because when I find myself looking at my kids a certain situation that they do, they do the exact same thing I do. So I know that's just naturally in our genes, you know? Mm-hmm. But, um. Like T.I. used to tell people, he like, man, the reason why he loved me the way he do as a brother is I'm a breath of fresh air. Because at the same time, as I embrace and do so many things with people, I'm still one of the people that you know you don't have to look at as I'm trying to use you to benefit or, or come up off you. I stand on my own, you know? Yeah. And it ain't a lot of that. It ain't a lot of authentic people or genuine people in the game, you know? And you, and you give what, back a lot too. If a lot of people didn't know that, like how you do Trader, Trader True Weekend, like you know what I'm saying. Even I give that back with more than I do anything yeah. else, yeah. man. But and that's why people went to doing these titles. But I don't really do the like when they say activist, philanthropist. I don't look at the title like that, man. I'm just me. I just mm-hmm. do me. But uh, I give back at the end of the day. A lot of people be in need, man. And you know how some people had a they go to where they may be. Some people like to get lit, drink, and smoke, and whatever. Mine is the excitement of knowing I'm taking some type of stress off somebody who's going through it at that moment. That's Being able to change somebody's life. And that's Making rare. An yeah, that's and it, rare. And it's crazy because I do it so much. I can, and I can actually put this on my kids, man. At least 70 to 80% of the time, 
people run up on me all the time. Like, you don't remember me? I'd be like, no, nah, not necessarily, but you, where, where from? You did this for me, or you did this for my mama, you did this for my auntie. Damn. You rebuilt this, or you helped us out there, and it's like, That's I do it so role. much, I don't be knowing yeah. who yeah. be who. But when they tell me the story and I think back, like, yeah, I did do that. I, I remember that. Night. Yeah, and that's a different type of reward, too. Yeah, even yeah. when the hurricane and all that stuff was impacting Houston, like, you was front line with it. But, yeah, not just Houston. Um, I, I did all Louisiana. I Carolina, okay. when mm -hmm. the, the hurricane hit, I did Florida, um, Mississippi. Crazy shit. I'm just a street nigga that, that do music and do other stuff, but it was like people needed help. Right. Yeah. I done went from rapping and just doing me to to cutting trees, the tarping <laughs> roofs, the <laughs> rescuing with boats, trucks, and everything else. But it's like, shit, when people need it, man, you you gotta just adapt to that situation right then and then. For sure. Find yeah. A way. yeah, cause Who's... like, why I'm away to wait for somebody to be sitting at their desk figuring out how they gonna help you. Them people need help now. They might not make it to the next day. Mm -hmm. That's what's up. How, who's somebody that you listening to right now that we wouldn't expect to be in your rotation? I, don't know. I listen to all music, you know, from Cole to to Brent to Brent Gap Fayette. Band. Yeah, yes, oh, yeah. that's yeah. my bro. To Gap Band to okay. uh, to Dirt to of course my brother Nipsey. To I listen to everything. It ain't you you it ain't really much you can. Only thing with Brent, I feel like you got to light a candle when you turn your music on. It like it's it's just, like he really? set the mood. <laughs> yeah, like he, he just like it's just the vibe. Yeah, we got we like got we got records that's not released yet. Huh? Oh, y'all got a record? Yeah, we got a couple records that's not. But see, the thing is, a lot of artists that come out, I be ahead of the curve with them. Mm -hmm. So, like, it was so crazy. I was talking to somebody, and y'all know her as uh, Money Long. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's, back then, you I knew her as Priscilla Long. Renee. Yeah. We got, like, five records. I got records sitting up with me, her, and Travis Scott, and everything else. So, that's how far back. Like, I always just embrace people. Mm -hmm. But... You Even should drop a embrace. collection. Huh? I said you should drop a collection of like throwbacks that you got of people and make and name it something music, nostalgic. Though. It's, it's yeah, the so crazy thing yeah. like still you can be yeah. fresh right now. Drop that shit. Man, I, I got love over, to hear some of them collabs. I got over 2,000 unreleased records. That's one of the biggest arguments people have. Like even artists, everybody just, I don't put the music out. Like I do it and just keep it for myself. What do you think? Do you feel like nah, this too special, or what do you think keeps you from dropping it? I used to not want it to get lost in the shuffle, and even though as cliche as it might seem, the person who was on me the hardest about consistently, I wouldn't even start putting albums back out within the last five, ten years if it wasn't for Cole. We'd sit up and we'd just, you know, we debate a lot, and he always like, bro, it don't matter if you put the music out and. Only 10 people get it. Guess what? Next time we we may have 20, 30. Like, bro, just. Because you can see the progression. Yeah, like we ain't thinking about. Yeah. We want it to be the perfect rollout. We got to just, Put just the go art with the out. move, man. Yeah. yeah. Create. Just let it out. Yeah, yeah. Look at nephew. I look. I, I spot you a mile away. Yeah, yeah. That's what's up that you got somebody like Cole that's close, that seemed like a brother to you, that's also yeah. like pushing you to be. You know, a better artist and even a better man, like you said, bringing you out to be at that time in your life. Like, I feel like every great king or man has like a council of like people who who you respect, who you like will go to and talk to. Like, who are some of like who some people that's on your council in the industry? Um, it's a lot. Before or just I go there, people. Period. Before I go, that shout out my nephew Demani, man. Oh yeah, we don't oh, have yeah, that. We, yeah, yeah. we don't yeah. have him and on here. I, I was proud, you know. Even though I just got here, I was proud to see him touch the stage. Cause one thing for sure, when you hear Demani, it, it feel like the feel of Dreamville with the height, just where he at as an artist right now. So I was excited for that. But um, yeah, no, artists like that. I, I mean, you know, everybody from. From Cole to um, T.I., you know, even if you switch it up to Mama Tina, you know, uh, Miss Tina knows Beyonce Mama. Okay. Like, I just, okay. it's just different relationships, even Tamika Mallory. Like, it's just, like, me and Rhapsody were just talking. The first thing she asked me is, bro, have you took the time to go do your therapy yet? Because... I promised them at one point I, I'ma do it. I ain't never did it before, but you should. I did. So I support black men going to therapy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, that's what's up. That's a very I like that that counsel. 
I mean, it's a lot. It's you got everything lot. from gangsters to activists, just uh, like yeah, you said. Yeah. So at one it's point, was like the music, the therapy for you? It still is. Yeah, it still yeah, is. Yeah. Right, man, I'm... But that sitting down with a therapist hit different, though. I, think... I ain't never did. I, I, I used to oh. be honest with you, I just never thought about it because I felt like, I man, I ain't therapy. crazy. No, but you don't. You think that you have to be crazy, but they really just talking to you and asking you questions, and then they make ask you questions that you never had nobody ask. And then it's like, damn. You start answering your own questions for yourself. And then somebody who just listen and not pass judgment. Exactly. I think that's what it is. And like, ain't going to run your business back. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And it's you like, might tell your partner, now he done went home, told his old lady, his old lady done told her best friend. <laughs> you just made me think about somebody else. So David Banner, that's that's what he told me. David Banner's like, man. Oh, yeah. Even yeah. go out of town if you got to go out of town. Somebody that don't know nothing about Doesn't you. Doesn't know nothing about you. Yeah, and just. I, I, I mean, have a black therapist. She from London. So I just feel like everybody thing she say sound better anyway because she got the accent no but she don't know like you know what i'm saying you could get different type of people that's not in the industry that don't know you so they're not looking at you like you know what i mean in your business it's what's up i'm an advocate because i think a lot of us especially in the black community we go through things that we think are so normal to us because we see it every day but yeah. we don't realize that it's still a little bit it's traumatic. Trauma. Yeah, yeah i was gonna say it is it's, it's trauma they feel yeah. but man you know we just it make it cool. It That's no, really no, what it is. I better come over. We not so far removed from what? Slavery, segregation, all that type of stuff. So our parents never really was, you know what I mean, going to therapies and stuff like that. Yeah, no, when, they like, didn't have the resources. So we behind the curve. So I think it's our generation to start telling our kids, like, you not at fault to sit down and talk to somebody. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So yeah. it's like, with you helping, that probably therapy for you, you don't realize it, but it's like, I'm doing this with other people, like to make my mind clear with other things. Feel me? Yeah, yeah. You right. Well, as a man of my word, I'm gonna do it, so I'm gonna do it. Yeah. I just uh. Well, we ain't trying to be no therapist. What <laughs> I'm just saying, <laughs> it, it, it's gonna get done <laughs> yeah. at, at some point because I gotta keep my word, my word law. So yeah. yeah. For sure. What's something that you feel like you set out to do in your career? You like it could be. It don't have to be like no award or nothing, but something that's just for you that you feel like I really want to do this. I don't know. I think everything I do is for legacy, even from the career, from just how I move is for legacy and the the um, what I'm gonna be remembered for through my kids and every, every everybody else and everybody just tied into me. So I mean, I, I think I'm trying to achieve everything. I was one of the. I, matter of fact, if you go down just a list of everything with me, I've achieved things that they never probably thought could happen. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot. Um, at this point, man, I don't receive, I don't receive every award you could think of, except probably three. I never got an NAACP award, never got a BET award, and the people was working on trying to give me a Nobel Peace Prize. But other than that, I got you. every, I got every award. It's to the point I don't even accept the awards no more. You know, but you gotta, you can't be mad that people want to appreciate you. You know For what I'm sure. saying? So mm -hmm. I'll like be cautious with I said. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? But yeah, I, I receive any and everything. That NAACP coming? That's gonna probably be next year. You I know, see that typically sure. you would have probably thought that would have been one of the first with me being <laughs> front line for us. But I mean, you know, it's. it's it's all on timing and, and what, whatever God feel, uh, how you feel it need to go. Now, if you win a Nobel Peace Prize before that, you can't go either way. Like, oh, man, it's at that point, it ain't Yeah, really, like, it's like and, and, and I, it's so don't crazy. send me shit out, A man. Nobel Peace Prize? <laughs> but look, the, but see, I ain't going to lie, I, I had a few hiccups within the last year, so I fucked that up for It's going to be a... <laughs> it's okay, that's what's going to be the, the testimony. No, I'm not greater. laughing. I'm laughing because, like, at, at just as growth, I understand God probably was tapping me on my head. Like, like hey, hey, bro, hey. like... You on a different path, focus. like, tighten up. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, you know, it's hard because you're human. And mm -hmm. human, you move, you move, you make mistakes, you move off emotion, just natural reaction. And, um, you know, even then with growth, you can understand, man, I, I'm wrong at times, you know, and for it's sure. just like, but even in my sense, I may not be wrong, but I'm just saying for the level of where I'm going and what I am, in that sense, I can That even wrong. go back to what you were saying, I'm gonna let me make it. Like, you used to look at it different, like, all right, you know what? My, my path is bigger, my vision is bigger. 
I can't even be sitting here doing this type of stuff. Yeah, and the thing is, I'm always thinking of ways to do things that can never be done. So right now, I just, I haven't even announced it, right? I, and y'all will actually be the first person. Come on, exclusive. Um, I did a partnership with Crisis Bags, right? Mm -hmm. So Crisis Bags is, um, my guy. That's, yo, yo. <laughs> That's who actually shot the video. Oh, okay. mm. <laughs> yeah. But um, so I did a partnership with Crisis Bags. So, you know, when it floods in a lot of these disaster areas, whether it may be the Florida, of course, Houston, the Bahamas, just where it's real natural disasters, a lot of people always have to start over and rebuild. Mm -hmm. So these bags, even though it may not be able to save your home, I can feel the whole room within the bag, meaning couches, computers, TVs, and this bag, once it's closed, it can sit underwater for two weeks. A bag? Yeah, so. The, How big is this bag? They have different sizes, but it can, it's one big enough that can fit all this in here with ease. Oh, wow. And what happens is, it can sit underwater oh, for two weeks, right? That. That's yeah, that's dumbass. innovative. That's I'm going to show, show you. But the point of it is. And it can stay underwater for, you said, two weeks. Yeah. The, so the point of it is, and y'all can look it up, crisis flood bags with a K. Crisis but, flood. Um, okay. Think Damn. about it. If you had your family ashes or portraits of things that you can't Replace. get back. Yeah. Think of knowing, even though I, I may have to rebuild or figure this out, my stuff is still there, you know what I'm saying? And I yeah. think that's just, that's big for me because it's helping people prepare and it, it's saving lives in a sense too because some things, man, some things irreplaceable. Money can't, it, it can't buy, you for know? For sure. Yeah, like memories, pictures, all that type of stuff. Yeah, yeah. That's what's up. You just partner with them? Crisis yeah, flood yeah. with a K. Crisis yeah. flood with a K. Crisis that's flood, what's up, that's man. huge. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to actually show you while we're right here. It's going to trip you out. Okay. But, um, you know, I'm always trying to just do the unthinkable for just our people in general, man. I like that. Besides Ibiza, what, what another place you probably want to travel and go to? Man, you know, it's so crazy. I don't do vacations. Never have. Yeah, I can tell how you said yeah. it. It wasn't even a vacation when I did that. Because right? uh, Cole was two and working, so I was yeah. comfortable. It, it, uh -huh. would, it would work. But um, So yeah, on the I, regular, that ain't even make you like, I should do that more often? I, I just don't, I don't tour, bro. Like, I, I mean, I don't, I don't, uh, vacate. Yeah, vacate. I'm, just, I'm a workaholic. Like, I work better under pressure. You know what I'm saying? So, look, let me. Okay. Well, what else you got coming up where you, the people can check out and just uh, be on the lookout for? A bunch of albums finna drop. My movie Soul out on Tubi. Um, Trey the Movie, the cartoon movie is on Tubi. Okay. Um, and it's called Trey the Movie. Mm hmm. Okay. Uh, oh, merch, damn. everything. See, you can fit the whole. That's what's up. It's different sizes too. Mm -hmm. So you could be like, closed. I just want to make sure these paperwork don't get. And it's a smaller bag, and it's the one you could fit your whole room. Right. Yeah. It's a way okay. they gotta insert that clip. Crisis bag. Crisis. Yeah, crisis flood, flood bag. bag. Yeah. Crisis That's flood what's bag. up. And then follow you on everything at Trade the Truth, right? Yeah, at Trey ABN. Always Trey ABN. Yeah, Trey yeah. ABN. But um, shout out to y'all for having me. Of course, you know. I don't do too many interviews, but when I do, they know it's with something I'm affiliated with. So for it's sure, all love. Well, we appreciate, we appreciate you. It. Man, it was surprising to see you. And for sure, like you said, you just mobbing through solo. Everybody yeah, show too. you love, though. Like, yeah. I never seen nobody, like, had nothing bad to say about you, though. Yeah. I, and I'm not going to give them yeah, time, not, too. Yeah. And you got to realize that's hard, especially in this industry. You always going to find somebody that yeah. feels some way. Cause your so, reputation can precede you, but they be like, "Oh yeah, you are," and you always cool with good energy, and like you said, chill every time you're around. Yeah, that and I'm just a natural protector. Cause most of the time, I'm, I'm naturally watching over everybody else. So you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, I know ever since you've been sitting here, you've been around. <laughs> uh, crazy thing, I see everything. <laughs> Even when you think I don't, I'm seeing it. You know, uh, but that's just where we come from. That's natural. For sure, mentality, yeah. Uh -huh. you know? It's our nature. We, we were saying the other day, like, it, if people come with wrong intentions to a Dreamville Fest, they just on some other shit yeah, anyway. Yeah, you oh, just man. the we wrong type of thing. for that anyway. Yeah. <laughs> At that moment, I got the right to act how I want to act. Can't nobody, it ain't nothing nobody going to be able to tell me because I ain't going to let them mess this up. Yeah, come on, like, Not Dreamville? For the fam. Yeah, nah. Yeah. It's a woke convention. Not yeah. a woke convention. <laughs> Yeah. Nice a vibe, though. Thank you for sitting down with us. Stop yeah, through the trap. Sure, Trade sure, the man. truth. All right. Yeah. My dog. Oh, Lord.